Thank you for using GeoMagic Control X. The goal of this presentation is to demonstrate the blade analysis workflow in GeoMagic Control X. We will accomplish this by running the airfoil comparison and 2D twist analysis. The alignment portion of this workflow was completed beforehand. In the Compare tab, under the Compare group, select the airfoil analysis icon. If you do not already have a base plane, select the Z-axis button in the dialog box to create a plane. Drag the cross section into the blade portion of the part by manually grabbing the blue arrow in the plane or by entering a specific amount. Additionally, in this dialog box, the user can set a max deviation or local coordinate. Once the desired distance from the base plane has been established, select the next stage arrow. This stage allows the user to edit the visual aspects of the whiskers and color bar. By adjusting the whisker multiplier, the user can see areas of deviation easily. Select the next stage once the visual details of the whisker and color bar have been set. Depending on how the part has been oriented, change the leading edge direction accordingly. In this case, we will change the portion to positive X. In this dialog box, the user can adjust the cord length computation by selecting camber line intersection or tangent options. In the dimension dialog box, check the details needing to be dimensioned. In this case, we will select the cord length, axial cord length, leading edge radius, and trailing edge radius. Once a set of dimensions is established, the user can then edit all of the reference geometry that was used to create the dimensions in the results data column. Additionally, the results are repeatable and can be ran in a batch process for multiple inspections. Select the check icon to complete the command. Now let's create a 2D twist analysis. Once again, in the compare tab under the compare group, select the 2D twist icon. If you do not already have a base plane, select the Z-axis button in the dialog box to create a plane. Again, drag the cross section into the blade portion of the part by manually grabbing the blue arrow in the plane or by entering a specific amount. Select the next stage arrow once the desired distance from the base plane has been established. Once more, this stage allows the user to edit the visual aspects of the whiskers and color bar with the additional ability to define where the twist will originate. These options include a centroid point or which axis to use as primary and secondary, as well as the movement constraints to minimize the twist. Select the check icon to complete the command. All twist analysis data is then displayed in the properties view on the right hand side of the screen or in the tabular view at the bottom of the screen. The data set includes the min, max, and average data, twist translations, and rotation. Also included is a matrix that can be used to determine the movement of that part. We have now run the airfoil comparison and 2D twist analysis. Thank you for using GeoMagic Control X.